There we go. <laughs> the two CAs. <laughs> okay, guys, today we're out on the creek here to talk about this rock right here. This is bedrock. Now, the bedrock outcropping, you don't often find, well, you don't always find them in creeks, but if you do find a bedrock outcrop of some sort, that is totally the place to check out. If you remember, gold settles down through the gravels, and it settles down until it finds something it can't settle through. Now, right here, this bedrock is solid. It may have cracks and stuff in it, but it doesn't have anywhere for the gold to continue its downwards travel. You'll see on the far side of the creek is gravel. The gold will go down through that stuff. This side of the creek over here is bedrock. The gold won't go down any farther. Now, wherever you see bedrock outcrop, even if it's on the wrong side of the creek, you know the bedrock is close to the surface. This is the bedrock here is on the outside corner, so it's actually a bad spot to check because the gold follows the inside corner. The gravel over here is on the inside corner, but because you see bedrock on one side, there's a good chance it's close to the surface. So if we chose a spot over here in the gravel and started digging down, we may find where this bedrock levels out and makes up the bottom of the creek bed. That would be the perfect place to pan. Right down here, right over that, where, where that boot is, inside corner, close to bedrock, that would be a great spot to start digging a big hole. And it could be a big hole. The bedrock could be six inches down, it could be six feet down. We don't really know. Depends on this rock wall. If this rock wall continues at the angle it's at, it'll go down a long ways. If it starts to level off underneath the creek, it could only be a few inches down. Now, one thing I noticed as we were walking down here, we'll have a look over here. Yeah, no, you can stand on it, that's fine. That there is the same bedrock. That is, this bluff goes down, makes a trough of some sort, comes up, and there's the bedrock again. And then it goes down again. So we do know that at least right there, the bedrock levels off. It levels off underneath that creek bed. And anywhere where the bedrock is flat, you have a great spot to clean up, to scrape that bedrock down and see if there's any gold sitting on it. If this bedrock over here was on the inside corner, if you, whoa, let me fall in the water for a sec. If this bedrock was on the inside corner, another great spot to check would be all these cracks and crevices. All the cracks that come along here are collecting dirt and sand. If you check those cracks on an inside curve, it's called sniping, where you're sniping, you're, you're just digging out small amounts of dirt from the cracks. If you checked out those cracks on an inside curve, golden, it's great, great stuff. Some panners, when they go out, they don't even bother digging gravel banks. All they do is look for bedrock, look for cracks in bedrock, and they, they're out doing what's called sniping. Sniping bedrock. If you can find bedrock in a creek bottom like this, that has big shelves, like slate or something that's actually made great big cracks and riffles in the creek itself, that is almost like a natural sluice box. It actually catches the gold. The gold that's running down doesn't get washed away. It gets caught in those cracks. And that's a perfect spot to check. If you find cracks that run the length of the river, running the same direction as the river, they're not so good at catching gold, but it still can be a, a good spot. If you find a chunk of bedrock like you're standing on there that has a hole right behind it. Let me move over. Uh, yeah, sort of behind you. Move aside for a second. That little hole right behind it, it can be deeper. No, point it with the shovel. Down, 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 down. Yeah, right there. It can be deeper. You might have to dig deeper, but that's a natural gold catch. Any little hole behind a waterfall or bedrock outcropping of any sort. Uh, you may have heard on Gold Rush, they talked about the glory hole. That would be it. That hole behind a little drop in the creek. Yes, sir. What about a pool like this? Is there the bedrock kind of... Oh, look at that. I didn't even notice. That's all bedrock right there, isn't it? Yeah. You're sitting on it. That's amazing. 
amazing, especially since we're almost on the inside corner over here. So do we go down to the corner? What I would say is look we're basically underneath your butt there. Okay. See if there's any cracks that are full of dirt and try those. If not that, anything in that pool along that edge is great, 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 great stuff. I didn't even see that bedrock there. That's perfect. That whole gravel bar behind this bedrock outcropping, near the front of it, right where it touches the, the bedrock, dig down there. That's perfect. Okay. Bedrock is the holy grail of gold panners. You want to find bedrock because good, good gold sits on bedrock. You only find small flakes or what we call flood gold in gravel bars. If you can find false bedrock, which is a very thick clay that's almost like bedrock, or the real stuff like this, that's where the good gold is going to fall. The nugget I said I found on the weekend, I was scraping bedrock right in the bottom of a creek, right down just, just like that, except it was just a bedrock trough with a bit of gravel in the bottom. I was scraping it with my shovel, pulled out a nice nugget. You guys want to try panning this for a little bit here? I'll give you guys one hour of panning, and then we got to get back to the classroom to do a lesson for today. All right. Oh, there, Addison, you're in the video, finally. <laughs> okay, go give it a shot, guys.